Hey everyone, and welcome back to another YouTube video. It's your girl Tara D, and I'm back with another video. If you like my videos before this, please forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. I appreciate all your support, and thank you for tuning in. First things first, we have to set the vibe. So I'm gonna go ahead and light my candle. I believe this is from Bed Bath & Beyond before they had, you know, clothes or whatever. Um, this is in the scent Cotton. It's like a fresh indigo and fresh cotton scent. And it smells so good, but y'all, I think I cut my wig too short. What is that? Next, we're gonna be using this dry brush to exfoliate our skin before we get into the shower. It's always good to do this step. I do it every time I take a shower just to brush off any dirt or dead skin cells that may have been lingering on your skin and just exfoliate it away, brush it away before even touching any water. It's definitely beneficial. You should definitely try it. Before touching any part of my body, I need to make sure my hands are clean first. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands using this Dove Body Wash. This is in the scent Deep Moisture. For aura hygiene, I'm going to my usual, the Arm & Hammer brand. This one is in the Peroxide Care. Sometimes I use the Advanced Whitening. Nonetheless, I love them both because they're made out of baking soda. I just love the way it foams at the mouth. And I hate pasty toothpaste, so you'll never see me using Crest or Colgate, like ever. For skincare, I'm going to my holy grail, Cureology. This is what got my skin so clear. And I'm thinking about doing a video on, you know, skincare and just focusing on how I take care of my face. If you guys want to see a video like that, definitely let me know down in the comments and make sure to give a thumbs up to this video. As a base cleanser, I'm going to my Dr. Broner's Peppermint Castile Soap. Y'all already know this is my fave. This is my go-to. I just love the way it smells and the way it lathers up. Just keep in mind, as I always explain to you guys, that this is a very spicy soap. So you will feel a tingling sensation when using this scent. And also, it is a bit stripping to the skin. It does make me feel a little bit dry. But that's why I go in my other cleansers as well that just bring back the moisture. But... As for this one, it is very stripping, it's very drying, so you definitely need to pair it with a good moisturizer just to bring the moisture back to your skin. But that said, it leaves your body super clean. Like, it really feels like it takes off all the dirt and oils right off your body and leaves you super, super squeaky clean. As a second cleanser, I'm going in with the Dove Antibacterial Soap. I decided to use three cleansers today just because... Like I said earlier, the Dr. Broner's is a bit stripping, and this soap, I fell in love with it. This Dove Antibacterial, I definitely love the way it smells, the way the lather's up, and it is very moisturizing, but this smell, y'all, I just can't get over it. It's just so clean, and the fact that it's an antibacterial, like, I just really love that for me, so I'm going in with this cleanser as well. For our scent of the day, I'm going with this Olay Fresh Outlast. I recently purchased this in my hygiene video, so if you haven't watched that video, I'm going to leave a card at the top so you can tune in. But yeah, so I went in with this cleanser, and I love the Olay body wash. If you guys remember, I had tried the strawberry and mint before, and I absolutely fell in love with the texture. This was no different it just was so thick and it gave shampoo vibes so i decided to go in with the silicone scrubber just because i wanted to be the scent of the day not really needing it for a wash but more like to you know have the scent all over my body and it definitely got the job done and it smells so good I know this is not a blue product, but this is what I'm going in for vaginal care. This is the Honey Pot Cucumber and Aloe Foam Wash. Now I'm going to go in with some exfoliating gloves just to scrub the top half of my girl downstairs and to really scrub my backside. And y'all, I always use color coordinated exfoliating gloves just so I know what I'm using what for. As in, I don't want to use what I use on my backside, on my front, or anywhere else in my body. So I make sure to use color coordinated things so I know exactly where it goes. But nonetheless, I'm going to my Dr. Broner's to get this done. 
to exfoliate my skin i'm going in with a dove product y'all know i've been up on the ancient cosmetics and tree hub but this dove product i actually kind of like it i know i talked about it in one of my other videos and how i didn't like how it wasn't scratchy enough but this scent has me in a choke hold this is like a macadamia nut and rice smell and it smells so good and I just love that this is kind of pasty. I don't know, it makes me feel like I'm getting another wash in even though it isn't as scratchy but this glow that it leaves me with to die for. So I feel like I might get more of these, I don't know, but I like it. To shave my legs, I'm going in with the EO Sensitive Shave Cream and as you guys can see, this bottle is squeezed up because I actually use it and I actually do love this product. It is so moisturizing just like the 24 hour lotions. This shaving cream really gets the job done and I don't know, I feel like my legs are super smooth after using it instead of feeling so dry and rigid so I love it. To scrub my feet, I'm going in with the Dr. Teal's Gentle Exfoliant. And y'all, this smells so good and it's so scratchy. Like, I needed to get my feet a massage. Like, this is definitely a go-to. I'm so glad I found it in my hygiene video. Make sure to tune in. To moisturize my lips, I'm going with my fave, the Vaseline. This is so moisturizing and gives lip gloss vibes. I know you guys notice how fire my lashes are, so make sure to use my code TyraD for 15% off your first set when you book with Yes Ye. The link is in the description box below. For skincare, I'm going to be using my Teamy Restorative Clay Mask. I haven't done a mask in a minute, so I felt like it was time to, you know, get some extra care to my skin. I have been using recently, you know, the the more hydrating mask the ones that you just kind of put on your face this clay mask has been a minute so i decided it was time just to put it on and you know take care of my skin because i had you know some extra time today so let's go all in While I have my mask on, I decided to get my bath going and I'm going to be using my Dr. Teal's products. First, the bath soap and this is the Relax and Relief Eucalyptus and Spearmint scent. And this is just, you know, to get the bubbles going. But then I did go in with my vapor bath. This is the Epsom salt and I'm very generous when I use my products because if you haven't watched my bathroom organization video, you need to go watch that now. As you can see, I have so many of these Dr. Teal's products, so it's like, why would I be stingy? So I definitely put a lot in here, and I actually really love this one because it's the vapor one. So it's giving Vicks vibes, so when the steam hits at all, like it's just, it's very refreshing and definitely clears your entire nose out. I also went with a couple drops of the Olay Fresh Out Lash just to have the scents in there as well as a couple extra bubbles. The next few clips is just, you know, me enjoying my bath because I had the extra time to do so and I'm so grateful for that. But I just want to take a second real quick just to let you guys know I am so appreciative of every single one of you who watches my videos, who subscribes. You guys have no idea. Like every day I check my analytics and things like that just to see new subscribers and it makes me so excited because it takes time to put this content together and I really enjoy doing it so to see that you guys enjoy it as well it just it really means a lot and guys just keep being supportive because I love you guys so much and it just really makes me happy like I wake up with a smile every day just seeing all of you guys supporting me so thank you for that I really appreciate it you have no idea and y'all share me with your friends you know tell other people about my channel ask them to subscribe i really love all the new support and as you guys know i always comment back when you guys comment like i love talking to you guys so make sure to keep subscribing make sure to keep tuning in if you aren't already press the button right now all right y'all so now that bath time is over it's time to take this face mask off and i went in with this blue disposable sponge just to scrub it off because i thought it'll be easier than just using my hands and it was and i also figured i might as well just wash my face one last time to make sure everything was off and i went with the dove sensitive skin wash to do so
Now I decided to use some rose water toner and this exfoliating pad just to scrub my skin one last time and also you know use the toner. And guys it's really good to do this step. I know some people use micellar water whatever the case is because sometimes your face is still dirty after you have washed it so going in one last time to really exfoliate your skin is super important. Now I'm going in with some under eye hydrating pads. Y'all know how much I loved it the first time I used it. So I've been using them because they're just so hydrating. Make me feel so good and make my eyes feel like brand new. So definitely been using this a lot more often. To moisturize my skin, I'm going in with the Illuminate Me Whipped Body Butter by Vaseline. Y'all already know for the last couple videos, I've been only using this moisturizer and it's because I love it so much. It's almost finished already, like I need to buy a new one. It is really like, it just goes on like butter. I love it so much and it leaves me glistening. To moisturize my girl downstairs, I'm going in with this Organic Peppermint Oil. Last but not least, for fragrance, I'm using my Deep Garden by Zara. This perfume smells so good. It's giving fresh. All right, you guys, that is a wrap for today's all blue shower routine. I hope you guys love it as much as you loved the last one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.